Welcome to this tutorial about converting NURBS to polytons. This shouldn't take long, but I will be going over each of the tessellation methods. Once you have your surface you want to convert, you're going to want to go to Modify, Convert, NURBS to Polygons, and click the box at the end to bring up the menu. Starting with Type, simply select the type of polygon you want to use when you convert NURBS geometry to polygon date. I'm just going to use quads for this purpose of this video. Next, we must choose the tessellation method. There are four tessellation methods to choose from, standard fit, general, count, and control points. Which one you choose really depends on the type of surface you're converting and your desired results. If we choose general, we get to choose how much detail we want. For example, if we set it to per span number of ISO parameters on both the U and V, that will actually convert the surface so that for every one of these, we'll get three polygons. I find this generally the easiest way to achieve good results. Another tessellation method is count, which basically just allows you to set how many polygons you want. This would be good if you have a polygon limit where you can't have more than X number of polygons. Standard fit basically just allows Maya to decide based on the curvature of the surface. So if you have something very broad and flat, it will have very few polygons. And for example, if you have something that is very tight, then you will get more in that area. The last tessellation method is control points, which basically just takes the hole and converts it that way. Okay, so now that we have the conversion for each of the tessellation methods, let's have a quick look at what they look like. As you can see, the general conversion stretches out as you might expect a polygon object would with, say, the soft selection mode enabled. As we stretch the NURB surface, the count conversion keeps a more equal flow of topology, and just bases out the edges accordingly based on how many polygons you set. Similar to count, standard fit is keeping things quite equal, but where standard fit differs is if we start squashing the NURB to make things tighter, notice how more polygons are being created where the shape requires it to be. Not the cleanest method, and we'll probably need some cleanup. Finally, there is control points, which as you can see isn't doing much, but I'm sure there are uses for it. So there you have it, some ways to convert NURBS to polygons. Which you choose really depends on what you require. Do you need a specific number of polygons or polygons in a particular order? Those are decisions you're going to have to make as you do the conversion. Thanks for watching. If you need any help at any point, leave a comment and I'll go back to you as soon as possible. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.